out, but we are back at this black tent for today. Since it is a little bit colder, I imagine Boss will not be open on time, but that's not gonna stop me. And I really hope that Justice League's first screen is working, because when I was here on opening day, the first screen wasn't working. And obviously, you got a rope drop screen. Maybe the first thing, as usual, then go to freeze. And I do want to get on Batman, which I haven't ridden it yet this year. I didn't even go on that side of the park on opening day, so I'm gonna definitely be getting on that at some point today. <laughs> got on this one when I did. Now I'm gonna go down towards Justice League and uh, I guess start maxing that one out because I don't think Boss is open yet. Rookie Racer. I have not ridden it this year yet, and I was gonna ride it on opening day, but then I found out Justice League was open on Flash Pass. So let's do Rookie Racer now while that line is short, and then we'll go to Justice League. <laughs>
raced her twice, but I got sent around twice each time. So I essentially rode it four times. Rode it once in the front and then I did the back. I actually don't know which I prefer on this right now. I'm starting to like the front row a lot more than I did last year. But I think the back is still a little bit better because of the drop, but I don't know. It's a lot closer now than it was at the end of last season when it actually opened. But still, rookie racer, I would say really fun regardless. And I forgot how much fun it is. Now let's go down towards Justice League and Mr. Freeze. And actually Ryan's down at Freeze. He says I got two trains running on it. So I'm gonna go down that way right now. The Grand Old Carousel is still undergoing its renovation, but it looks a lot better now. Like I love what they did here. The paint job looks really, really good. Like I really like the yellow and the blue. It really pops. And I'm excited to see this thing fully restored sometime this year. The morning of opening day, I did BLJs in Super Mario 64 to prepare myself. But the first screen didn't work. Let's go find out if the first screen is actually working. And uh, okay, it's not horrible, but hey, it could be worse. First screen is back up and running. We got it. Right, what do you think? Uh, finally, the first screen worked, so I got it. Yeah, it was not working on uh, opening day, but I think the car we were on, uh, what was it, car six? Yes. The lasers were off center, so that very. made things very difficult. Like, Ryan, you actually were beating me in the I, first screen, the second yeah, screen. Second screen, I uh, killed it with the backup strat, got 240k. That was uh, good to have that first screen back up and running. So uh, once Alice gets here, uh, hopefully we'll be able to max it as well. two rides on Mr. Freeze. I was gonna try once in the front, once in the back. After my first ride in the front, I saw that there was some people in line for the back, whereas the front had literally no one in line, so I went around for a second ride in the front row. Both of those rides were absolutely incredible. Definitely the best rides I've had on any coaster today, but then again, I'm only done Screaming Eagle and Rookie Razor up until this point. So I don't know how boss will be running, but that'll be later on. <laughs>
American Thunder got stuck on the left tail. Second weekend in a row this happened. <laughs> I don't know what to say about what that ride was like. So the front car was rattling like crazy, but it wasn't affecting the ride experience. It was just really loud. I don't know what happened. It was just as good as usual, but the front car just decided to make a whole bunch of noise. Yeah, I never experienced Ninja like that. Like it wasn't necessarily rough or anything. I mean, sideliner as usual. Yeah, but a lot of people talk about how the aero jank is the thing with these rides. The jank is so real with that last one. Oh my gosh. They weren't gonna go jank Scream Eagle, but I haven't seen it run in a long time. Maybe we'll do my train if Eagle isn't open. We still have not seen Boss run yet either.
hot minute since I last updated. So I did boss twice front row. It was running really well. Before I did that, I did River King Mine Train front and back. For today, I thought the front was better. And even Ryan agrees with me on that. The top of time going in front of brakes outweighed the drop and the tunnel in the back. So that's why we thought the front row was better for today. Then I did Screaming Eagle second to back row, which was by far the best of three rides ahead of the season. So now I'm going to go try American Thunder because that's back up and running now. Thunder was really good. It was definitely better than my ride on opening day, but then again, I got stapled on opening day, so they kind of killed it for me. I'm gonna go try Batman now and uh, see how that runs. <laughs> Batman 
man front row. That was amazing. One of the most intense rides I've ridden in a while. I would say more intense than freeze. Which, speaking of freeze, I did back row on that. Don't know if it was better than my rides on the front earlier today, but it was still really good. Justice League is down again, so I'm only at three rides on it today. So, hopefully it reopens soon. I probably should have done that after Batman. But, oh well. Colossus has a decently short line, so I'm gonna ride that and get some shots of some of the coaches from up above. And then we'll check back at Justice League afterwards to see if that's reopened. Otherwise, I'm gonna go, to go get some more shots of Scream Eagle from over near the ride.
my first ride on Colossus for the year. I would say that was a very successful run. Boss came through at the perfect time. Screaming Eagle came through at some good times, even though we're only running one train on, which made things difficult. I have no complaints about it. Now I'm gonna go to Justice League for the last hour and a half tonight because I saw they had it back open now. Of all the 1,400 plus times I've maxed out Justice League, there have been a couple breakdowns here and there. But never in my life have I gotten stuck on two consecutive rides before. That was a first. Ellis, what do you have to say about that? It's just crazy that I was just mentioning in the ride that this ride literally always breaks down. Like, they need to do something about it so that it doesn't keep being an issue all the time. Yeah, but then again, there's a lot of sentences in there. So if one trip, the whole ride shuts down, which, I mean, a breakdown here and there is kind of expected. But two back to back for us? Yeah. That's just, wild. Just like we did in uh, the fall of 2021, man. Oh, yeah, we did, we did get stuck at uh, LexCorp in 2021. But back to back, that's, that's a new one. And would you look at that? we got evacuated on the last ride of the night in yeah. front of the Joker, which is right back there. Yeah. So yeah, this is <laughs> interesting. Here's what the first uh, hallway looks like when you depart the station. You come right this way in the first screen. And we made it back into the loading area and the park is now closed. So I guess right this here's a go. Final ride count from today was eight on Justice League, four on Rookie Racer, three on Mr. Freeze, two on Boss, Griffith King, Lion, and Screaming Eagle, and then one on Colossus and every other coach here with the exception of Panamonium and Boomerang. In terms of highlights, Boss is running really good. Good. Eagle in the back was good. Freeze was good. Batman was awesome. Getting <laughs> stuck on just sleep three times in a row was awesome. Overall, really solid day. Before you check out this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment away and enjoy about this video and be sure to share it with someone else. Yeah. If you're new to this channel, like this off, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, I'm an Instagram account for pictures. I take whenever I visit the parks and be sure to check me out there as well. Leave a link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you later.